updates recommended books to really regret that developing disgrace heap of uninitiated books by your bedside, simply recollect that incredibly famous tycoon Bill Gates has recently said that he peruses about one book seven days. Hello, Explore Mindset, family. Welcome to the Explore Mindset YouTube channel. On this channel, we briefly describe what viewers can expect, entertainment, education, inspiration, etc. Each video is crafted with love. I am happy to have you join our growing community. Tap Dancing to Work by Carol Loomis. Tap Moving to Work gathers 60 years of composing on unbelievable financial backer Warren Buffett, from Song Loomis, the columnist who realizes him best. Warren Buffett incorporated Berkshire Hathaway into something momentous, and fortune writer Toon Loomis had a fantastic view. Making the Modern World by Voslav Smil. How much further should the prosperous world push its material utilization? Does relative dematerialization prompt a flat-out decrease popular for materials? These and numerous different inquiries are examined and responded to in making the advanced world, materials and dematerialization. The Sixth Extinction by Elizabeth Colbert Over the last a portion of a billion years, there have been five mass eliminations of life on the planet. Researchers all over the planet are presently observing the sixth, anticipated to be the most decimating termination occasion since the space rock influence that cleared out the dinosaurs. Stress Test by Timothy Geithner, from the previous Depository Secretary, the authoritative record of the uncommon work to save the U.S. economy from breakdown right after the most awful worldwide monetary emergency since the economic crisis of the early 20s. The Better Angels of Our Nature by Steven Pinker, wasn't the 20th century the most ridiculously rough ever? In his exceptional, legendary book Steven Pinker shows us that this is off-base, recounting the tale of mankind in a totally new and new manner. From why urban communities make us more secure to how books achieve harmony, Pinker wins around together history, reasoning and science to analyze why we are less inclined to pass on at one more's hand than any time in recent memory, how it worked out and everything that it says to us about our actual qualities. The Man Who Fed the World by Leon Hesser, Dr. Norman Borlaug, one of the world's most prominent legends, is the most exceptionally enriched person within recent memory. He is credited with saving north of a billion group from starvation. Dr. Borlaug is only one of five individuals in history to win the Nobel Harmony Prize, the official award of opportunity and the legislative gold decoration. What's more, Dr. Borlaug got the Padma Vibhushan, the most noteworthy non-military personnel grant the Public Authority of India can present to a non-resident. Victor USA Book News Best History of the Year Champ American Ranch Department Underpinning of Farming Best Book of the Year Grant Victor Florida Distributors Affiliation Best Book Grant Champ Florida Journalists Affiliation Imperial Palm Artistic Honor Business Adventure by John Brooks what do the $350 million Portage Engine Organization debacle known as the Edsel, the quick and mind-boggling ascent of Xerox, and the unfathomable embarrassments at General Electric in Texas-based sulfur share practically speaking? Each is an illustration of how a notorious organization was characterized by a specific snapshot of distinction or reputation. These outstanding and interesting records are as significant today to understanding the complexities of corporate life as they were the point at which the occasions occurred. The Bully Pulpit by Doris Kearns Goodwin Doris Kearns Goodwin, creator of the acclaimed multi-million duplicate smash hit group of opponents, recorded by Spielberg as Lincoln, goes to the introduction of America's ever-evolving period, that exciting, hopeful time when the 20th century is new. Change is in the air, and the time has come to take on the burglar noblemen and degenerate government officials who have pushed the country to the brink of collapse. The Rosie Project by Graham Sims Ion, where Tillman is getting hitched. He simply doesn't have the foggiest idea who to yet. Yet, he has planned the spouse undertaking, utilizing a 16-page survey to assist him with tracking down the ideal accomplice. She will without a doubt not be a barmaid, a smoker, a consumer, or a late arriver. On Immunity by Eula Biss, in this strong, entrancing book. This examines the representations and fantasies encompassing our origination of resistance, and its suggestions for the individual and the social body. Winding around her own encounters with an investigation of old style and contemporary writing, this thinks about what immunizations, and the discussion around them, mean for her own youngster, her quick local area and the more extensive world. 
How Asia Works by Joe Studwell Until the horrendous monetary emergency of the last part of the 1990s, East Asia was seen as a solid example of overcoming adversity. Yet, exciting monetary development rates concealed the most isolated landmass on the planet, one a portion of the most phenomenal formative example of overcoming adversity at any point seen, the other around 50% of a paper tiger. How to Lie with Statistics by Daryl Huff, Daryl episode runs the array of each and every famously utilized sort of measurement, tests such things as the example review, the classification strategy, the meeting method, or how the outcomes are gotten from the figures, and face up the incalculable number of evades which are utilized to full instead of to illuminate. Cloud Atlas, by David Mitchell, this is the sort of clever you'll think and discuss for quite a while after you finish it. The plot is a piece hard to make sense of in light of the fact that it includes six between related stories that happen hundreds of years separated, counting one I especially cherished about a youthful American specialist on a cruising transport in the South Pacific during the 1800s. In any case, in the event that you're in the temperament for a truly convincing story about the best and most exceedingly terrible of humankind, I think you'll wind up as fascinated in it as I was. The Great Influenza, by John M. Barry, we're surviving a remarkable time at this moment. However, in the event that you're searching for a verifiable examination, the 1918 flu pandemic is pretty much as close as you will get. Barry will show you nearly all that you want to be familiar with quite possibly of the deadliest episode in mankind's set of experiences. Despite the fact that 1918 was a totally different time from today, the incomparable flu, is a decent update that we're actually managing a large number of similar difficulties. The Ride of Lifetime, by Bob Leger, this is one of the most mind-blowing business books I've perused in quite a while. Iger works effectively making sense of what being the president of a huge company is truly similar to. Whether you're searching for business experiences or simply an engaging read, I figure anybody would partake in his tales about regulating Disney during perhaps of the most extraordinary time in its set of experiences. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss upcoming interesting videos.